AI has a problem. Today, AI models wield tremendous power, yet they are often biased, inaccessible, and uninterpretable. We often deploy these models blindly, feeding data into a black box and crossing our fingers in hopes that the outcomes align with our values. This makes it hard to trust AI models that can often hallucinate or reveal biases within the data sets they've been fed. On top of that, very few individuals even have access to the technical know-how and resources necessary to leverage this incredible technology. This has created a gap between those who have access to AI and those who don't. And as this gap increases, questions of AI bias and alignment with human values only become more important. As AI's role in our lives expands, so do its imperfections, forcing us to confront its issues of bias, explainability, and restricted access. This needs to change. It's time to democratize AI, uncover the black box of its models, and make the most important technologies of our day accessible to everyone. Join me as we explore how we can transform the landscape of AI for the better. Welcome everyone to Sandbox AI, my measly attempt to democratize AI and make AI models more interpretable. So to get started, you're going to go to sandboxai.fly.dev. Uh, there's no paywall, everything's free. Of course, I'm also running it on a free domain, so I haven't spent too much money on this either. Uh, and it might crash, but if it does, just let me know and hopefully we'll get it fixed up. But first things first, you're going to upload a data set to begin the fun. Uh, right now, we only support CSV, which you can just transfer from any Excel file. And the data set I'm going to upload is a list of Spotify songs, super popular Spotify songs from the year 2023. And so we're going to make some interesting machine learning predictions based on these songs. So we're going to select it. We're going to upload our data set. And you can see once our data set is uploaded, it has now been cleaned. And you can see how that cleaning process is done. And we are given a choice of four different actions to do. And what I'm going to need y'all's help with is in figuring out which features you want to see so that we can make all of these tools more accessible and so that you don't ultimately have to go find a data scientist or learn data science maybe yourself and code out the solution that you wish. But here this just gives you a nice graphical interface to make interesting predictions and kind of explore a bit your data set. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do symbolic regression. And for me, I think symbolic regression is really the response to uninterpretable AI models because unlike say a neural network, a symbolic regression algorithm is going to give you an equation. So in a neural network, let's say you have all of these X variables, you want to predict the Y variable. Uh, it's just going to give you a black box, just basically a bunch of numbers and a matrix that are going to be multiplied in order to give you the result. And so this is not very interpretable. However, with symbolic regression, you just get an equation. So when you're talking about AI bias, it's a lot easier to see the bias because you can actually see how each variable is being used in the equation, which I think is really neat. So first things first, let's make a symbolic regression equation. And let's say we want to try to see if we can make an equation that represents how many streams a given song will get based on some of these variables. So artist count, release year, release month, we're gonna say all of this isn't that important. And then maybe as well, we can even add squared features and then also inverted features. So one over or uh, to the power of two. So let's just click some random features. I don't know. And let's see what we get. Generate my model. And you see here we have this equation. And so this is saying the model's attempt to predict the equation is that uh, to predict the number of streams, you have this number times how many Spotify playlists the song is in, plus this number times how many how it is in the Spotify charts, plus this number times how it is in the Spotify playlist, etc., etc., going through all the different variables. And our result is that we get an R squared score of 0.655, which is not bad. If the two variables were perfectly correlated with each other, we get an R squared score of 1. But you see here, on this little graph, we have predicted values versus the actual values, which are represented by the red line here. So if the model was perfectly accurate in describing the number of streams based on those variables, 
we would see everything right on the red line, which you can see is not entirely the case, but we still have a very strong correlation between both the predicted values and the actual values. And you can see also this is a histogram. So as the values get more yellow, that means that there's a higher concentration of values, whereas these sort of purplish values out here are almost more outliers. And then as well, we get the mean squared error, which is also not too bad as well. So yeah, that's our equation. As we can see here, we can really measure if there's any bias in this equation because we know exactly what this equation is doing. And this model has become a lot more interpretable. But obviously there's also a lot of features. So what can we do to see which features are most important in predicting streams? Well, for that, we have to go back and we can do feature importance. So the variable we're gonna choose is streams. I'm gonna submit that. And you see we have the top 10 features for streams using a chi-squared test. So obviously the most important feature for predicting if a song is gonna do well in the Spotify charts is how many Spotify playlists it's in. Uh, we get similar metrics for if it, how many Deezer playlists it's in, if it's in the Shazam charts, if it's in Apple playlists, Apple charts. We also have instrumentalness, which I think is interesting. If you're, say, a music marketer, you know, in order for my song to get a lot of streams, it has to have uh, some amount of instrumentalness in it. And so these are all very interesting conclusions that you can derive based on just this simple chi-squared test that the uh, website is doing for you. So now let's go back. And if we want to see the correlations between every single variable in one place, we can just click on this correlation matrix. And you see right here, this is getting the R squared score for basically every single feature with another feature. So for instance, we can see right here, the blue values are gonna be the values that are highly positively correlated with each other. And for that, we have streams and in Spotify playlists are both highly positively correlated with each other, meaning the more streams something has, the more Spotify playlists it's in and vice versa. We see similar things with Apple playlists and Apple and Spotify playlists, Deezer playlists and Spotify playlists. And we can even see some more negative correlations. So these lighter colors, for instance, energy seems to be negatively correlated with acousticness, which is interesting. But this kind of gives you a bird's eye view of all the different features in your model and how they relate to each other, or more, how are they correlated with each other. Now, if you say screw interpretability, I just want a model that works. We can click on this right here, which gives us a black box model. So let's say we want a black box model for predicting streams. We can submit and it'll give us a tiny test set. And right here, you can see the R squared score is at 0.64, which is pretty good. We also have a mean squared error, which is lower than the mean squared error we had for our symbolic regression model. But here we just have an XGBoost model that is saying, given all of the X variables that we have, how can we predict streams? And then from here, you can download the model as a JSON file, and then you can use it. Now this next part is where I need your help. I tried my best to make this site accessible, interpretable with little notes that tell you what's actually going on. But I know that there are a variety of different use cases for this site, but I don't know what those use cases might actually be. I have some ideas, I have some ideas in my personal life, but I wanna know how would you use this technology and what are the features that you wanna see added? Are there any data science principles that you want to be implemented in here? Any actions, any functions that you'd like to see? Any features? Please, please, please let me know so that we can make AI more accessible and more interpretable to everyone. So please leave a comment down below about some issues that you have, maybe in which you wanna use AI or data science principles in your everyday workflow, how we can solve them through this accessible machine learning dashboard. And that way, uh, I hope that we can make AI more accessible to the masses. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please, please, please leave a comment down below with any of your suggestions or features that you'd like to see added, and I will see you in the next one. Let's democratize AI.